All right, as we continue to talk more about arrays, we're going to come across something called the array method known as slice, okay? So this is an array method that will basically give you a piece, okay, of your selected array, or you can think of it as a slice. A lot of people say a slice of a cake. You can think about it like that. So it's basically going to return all these elements that you select as a new array object, and the original array will not be modified. Let's look at a quick example here. Let's say I go something like const snacks, and I'm just going to put an array here with some snacks in it. Let's say we do something like maybe chips, and then let's do maybe mixed nuts. So mm, something else, maybe like cookies, and maybe we'll do like pudding. And then maybe let's just do one more. Let's go popcorn. Okay, so just some snacks there. Now, one thing you can do, or the first thing you can do, you can make what's called a shallow copy of this guy. And we haven't gotten to what a shallow copy is yet. I'll explain that later on. But let's just do something like const snacks2. Okay, it equals, let's go snacks. And then you're going to go dot slice like this with your parentheses and nothing inside, right? So you're not going to put any arguments in here. You're basically just going to put the parentheses. Everything inside is going to be blank. So if I console.log, the snacks2, okay, all it's going to do is basically have copied all these. You're going to get an array that looks just like this. So if I pop this open and I run this, again, you just get chips, mixed nuts, cookies, pudding, and popcorn. Okay, so that's one way you can copy something. Now, if you specify values inside of here, what's going to happen is the first one tells you where you're going to start from. Okay, so where do you want to start copying from? If I put, let's say, 1, okay, remember how the index position works. This is going to be 0. This is going to be 1. So it's going to start with mixed nuts. So the first number is inclusive, okay? If I don't put anything else, it starts with here, and it just goes all the way through and keeps copying until the end. So if I pop this open and clear this and run this, you get mixed nuts, cookies, pudding, and popcorn. Notice that chips has been cut off. Okay, if I was to put two here, now this is zero, this is one, this is two, so it's going to start with cookies. So let's clear this and run this, and you get cookies, pudding, and popcorn. Now, if you wanted to do, let's say, a start position and an end position, let's say we start with zero, so it's going to start with chips, and let's say we wanted to go out to cookies, okay? So this is zero, this is one, this is two. A lot of people will put two in here, but what happens is the first number is inclusive, okay? So it's including chips. But the second number here, the ending position is exclusive, okay? So it's not going to include this, okay? You would have to put three there. So let me just do it with two first. So it's just going to give you this one and this one. So zero and one, two will be excluded. So let's pop this open and clear this and run this. You see you just get chips and mixed nuts. If I change this to three, okay, what's going to happen is now it's going to count zero, one, two. Three is excluded, okay? So you're going to get chips, mixed nuts, and cookies like you wanted. So let's pop this open and clear this and run this and you get chips, mixed nuts, and cookies. Now, another thing you can do, and some people like to do this, you can count backwards, okay? So if you use something like negative one, that's basically the last element. So if I asked for this guy right here, it would just give me an array with popcorn in it, okay? Let's pop this open and clear this and run this. You see, you just get popcorn. If I went one more back, so if I start here with negative one, this would be negative two, and then this would be negative three. I'm basically counting backwards, right? So if I say from negative three on, then basically it's going to give me an array with cookies, pudding, and popcorn, okay? Let's pop this open, and let's clear this, and let's run this, and you see you get this. If you put negative 3, comma negative 1, when you start working with negatives, it gets a little bit confusing in your mind, but you're starting with negative 3, so you're starting here, okay? The negative 1 is excluded. Remember, the second number is always excluded. So it's just going to give you cookies, and then it's going to give you pudding, Okay, I know this is confusing, but let's go ahead and pop this open and clear this and run this. And you see cookies and pudding. It excluded the last guy here because it's got negative one. Okay, that's the position. So let's go ahead and play around with this a little bit. Let's go ahead and erase this real quickly. And basically, let's just grab like the first two snacks or the first three snacks and make a nice little sentence. Whatever you want to do, I'm just going to go const. And I'm going to use the destructuring that we just talked about. So let's put something like favorite, favorite snack like this. And then maybe we'll do second favorite. It's going to be really long. So let me put second like S favorite snack. Or that really doesn't isn't descriptive. So let's put second snack. That should be good enough. Okay. And then we'll set this equal to snacks 
dot slice, okay? And what do we want? We just want the first two, right? So I want zero and I want one, okay? So I want those two guys, I don't want anything else. So that means I'm going to stop it at two, right? Because the last number is not included. So I'm gonna put zero and then two here, okay? So what this is going to do, remember how this works from the last lesson, it's gonna take chips, okay? And it's going to assign it to favorite snack. It's gonna take mixed nuts and it's going to assign it to second snack. Okay, so let's see that real quick. I'm just going to console.log. I'll go favorite snack like this, and then let's go second snack snack like this. Okay, so let's pop this open and see this real quick. We'll clear it and run it, and you get chips and then mixed nuts. Okay, you can make a nice little sentence from this if you want. I'll just say something like, I don't know, my favorite snack is, and then we'll do the favorite snack. Okay, and then I'll go my second favorite snack is, and then we'll go second snack. Okay, and you can make this say whatever you want. We're just getting a little practice. So let's pop this open and clear this and run this. So we get my favorite snack is chips. My second favorite snack is mixed nuts. Okay, so very easy topic. Let me give you one other example here. A place where you might use this or where this might come in handy, let's say that you had some kind of contest. Let's pick something like maybe a spelling bee. So let's go const, we'll go spelling bee, okay? And for right now, we're gonna keep this really simple. I'm just gonna put the order basically of how they finish. So the first person is first place and the second person is second place, you know, so on and so forth. When we really work with data, we might have to do additional things to figure out who's first, who's second. That involves sorting and probably figuring out what the scores were and things like that. We're just not ready for all that yet. So let's just keep going with this. So we'll go Beth, we'll go Jennifer, so Jennifer, and let's go maybe Jessica. And then lastly, let's just do Mark, okay? So basically we have six contestants and let's make a little sentence that says who finished first, second, and third. So those are your winners. Or we can really just put it as like a little listing. And then we'll also put who finished last, okay? So let's go ahead and say something like const, I'm going to set some variables here for the first and for the second and for the third and then also for the last. OK, well, actually, I should probably do that separately. So let's set this equal to spelling B. OK, dot slice. And then for this one, I'm going to basically want from zero. OK, I want this guy this guy and this guy. So zero, one, two, okay? So I'm gonna stop it on three because three is not included. So zero comma three, okay? And basically that's going to put Brad as first, it's gonna put Holly as second and Beth as third, right? So those values are gonna be stored in those variables. Okay, so from here, let me also go const, I'm gonna go last and I'm gonna set this equal to spelling B dot slice and I'm just gonna grab the position of negative one, right? So that's always gonna give me the last position, okay? If you wanna look at these real quick, you can. You can pause the video, or actually I'll just do it with you real quick. So let's console.log, let's go first, let's go second, let's go third, and let's go last, okay? Make sure that we get Brad, Holly, Beth, and then Mark. So let's pop this open and clear this, and let's go ahead and run this. So Brad, Holly, Beth, and Mark, exactly as expected. Okay, so let's finish this up and make a nice little sentence. So I'm gonna console.log and I don't know, let's just do something like spelling B winners, okay? And then we'll put basically something like, I don't know, a new line, and then we'll say who was in first place, okay? So let's put, in this particular case, the variable that's holding that is first. And you might wanna do a little trophy for this person, so trophy, if I could spell that correctly. So then we'd also want, let me make a new line, I'll put second place, okay? And then we'll do dollar sign curly braces, we'll do second, okay? And then another new line, let's go ahead and do third place. And then let's go ahead and put dollar sign curly braces, we'll do third. And then if you wanted to maybe make another new line, we'll put last place, okay? Dollar sign curly braces, we'll put last. And then for that person, let's put a frowny face. So frowny face, not a chicken. I'm going through these emojis. Let me see what we have here. So, hmm. What would be a bad one? Let's go through, let me click on this one right here. And let's take this one. Okay, we'll take that one. All right, so let's come over here and let's go ahead and pop this open and let's clear this and let's run this. So we get our spelling bee winners with the first place is Brad with the trophy. The second place is Holly. The third place is Beth. And the last place is Mark.